hello everyone today what we are going to do is this uh, so we already have this patrolling character so when the character patrols if we throw a stone the character will stop patrolling and go to check the sound and let me throw a stone over there Okay, now the character stops and go to check. And after checking for a while, he will uh, return to his normal duty, which is patrolling. So this is the part I'm going to work on today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so in the last episode, we implemented this uh, patrolling system where the character can patrol around the g in a g uh, given path. Uh, but we didn't connect any of the behavior trees, so we didn't, we didn't connect it with any other behaviors that the character has uh, to that. So that's what we are going to do today. All right, so for that, I'm gonna change this function a bit. Uh, so in order to use with the behavior tree, let me disconnect this looping part because from the behavior tree, we will automatically get that part. So, right, and let me open the character controller and the behavior tree. Right here is the behavior tree, and here we have free ROM node. So here, let's add another selector. Oh wait, do we really need a selector here? Right, it won't matter. Patrol. Okay, and I'll add a new task bt task blueprint base i'll name this one bt task patrol okay now just like these other tasks that we have already created i'm gonna do this i'm gonna use this event receive execute ai function Uh, let's cast control pawn to and third person character and PC. Then here let's call um, star patrol. Right. Then uh, we can get the navy navigating variable to check if we are still walking if this is true let's set the delay here. if this is true we are simply gonna wait again if false that means we have reached the target point so i'm gonna call finish execute with success right now here i'll call the task pt task patrol and here we wait three to four seconds but uh, we don't need that No. So okay. Oh wait, I manually called 
for testing I manually called uh, start patrol here we don't need it anymore right now let's check not patrolling why all right this is a sequence so in in a sequence this part must be completed in order to execute these parts but uh, we what we need here is a selector not a sequence so Selector Right Let me put this away Right now you can see the character is going in the loop right now let me equip a stone and throw and see if character reacts let me throw it here right now character is going to check is coming back after searching and continue patrolling mm, why is he staying in the same location oh yeah he's going okay all right so and one more thing here we have when we select this decorator on result change observer aborts none so I think I should abort mm. let's try self that means this two will be aborted so when I do that what should happen is it should instantly start searching otherwise it will wait until this task is done right let's see now okay uh, let's wait until the characters start coming for this point so in the middle he should turn did he hear it? yeah okay I'm not sure if the aborting part worked but let's let me check again Oh, wait when this value changes it should um, abort what what does mean lower priority okay this all right ah okay that should be the case so if this value changes, whatever happened in here should be stopped and character should start uh, searching let's try that okay it's going to search uh, I guess it worked okay Alright, so I think that's all I want to do here.
okay and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page so in the next episode i'm gonna work on like the things like uh when player when the npc see the player he should come towards the player and maybe ask questions like a dialogue with choices something like that i'm planning to do and see you in another episode goodbye